hey guys welcome back to my channel in case you see this channel for the very first time my name is angel and i'm a blogger based in lagos state nigeria in case you see this channel subscribe button let's become family and help me turn on your bell make sure your bell is turned on to this channel so that anytime i drop a new video you will get notified okay so guys with no further ado let's just dive into it my cray cray people how on a day me sure say on a day okay this na actually two in one video and me go lie mona watch until the end so that on a go on a no go miss out for any of the full gist way day for this video so guys the on the first news where i go put for on a be basket mount and in wife they welcome their third child oh my this is not good news oh this is not good news to the opocha family because this couple will not see don't been get two children and this couple been they look for fruit of the womb since we be say after they born their last daughter they can't they look this lady can't they look for the fruit of the womb she knows see ah she tried every possible means after miscarriages where she gets oh my god finally she post picture for us yesterday where she celebrates her birthday she used this her pregnancy picture celebrate her birthday yesterday her husband come out for social media also congratulating wife telling wife say now nah, she be the best thing we ever happened to her and this good news we this good news and this gift where god give them for her birthday now nah, the priceless gift we don't, oh, don't give them so far guys you know easy only mothers we don't look for the fruit of the womb now you go understand waiting the kind of happiness we feel for this woman body because you get to be say you've been born picking and at the end of the day you won't continue to born and picking no con they come guys it's really a very 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 remarkable day in her life because i can see the happiness in her i can see the joy in her and i am so happy for her and i just say you where they watch this video this very very happy for her fuke akindele our popular nigerian actress also congratulates this beautiful couple tell her say elsie you are so pretty my darling happy birthday to you and congratulations too this is a huge gift from god may your joy be fulfilled forever that is what funke akindele told her on her birthday and guys let me tell you guys how her husband celebrated the good news with her basket Ma talk say happy birthday darling dearest i am so blessed to have an amazon for a wife Here's wishing you the very best thing in life, which starts from me. Thanks for updating my fatherhood to the level four. Guys, this family, we don't need to ask because they look so, so happy and so, so blessed. And this is the perfect gift anybody can get, especially expecting mothers can get. Guys, if you're in the comment section, if you're looking for the fruit of the womb, I pray and I join my faith with yours that God in heaven is going to do it for you. No time is ever late for God to step in in no time is ever late our god is the god of consuming fire and he said we should ask it shall be given unto us i am asking on your behalf that god is going to make you happy god is going to bless you and god is going to give you thousands of children depending on how many that you want guys please help me congratulate basket mouth and his wife in the comments here comes the second news of the video, my correct right people. Super TV murderer House of Rep kicks against multiple media interview of prime suspect Chidima Ojuku. The House of Representative has asked the police to stop the multiple media interview of Chidima Ojuku, the prime suspect in the, in the murder of Super TV CEO, Mr. Usifo Otaga. Chidima, a 300-level mass communication student of the University of Lagos, was arrested on Wednesday, June 20. 3rd 2021 over the alleged mother of the super tv ceo mr osifo ataga in a service apartment in the lekki area of lagos the house during plenary today july 13 expressed concern that since the arrest of chidema she has been paraded around granting interviews to various several news platforms thereby causing the internet news media to be to be discussing and dissecting the the whole issues they also said that so as long as miss ojuku has not been proven guilty by a court of competent ju 
sedition. She is not to be labelled a criminal or paraded about to conduct series of interviews on a case currently under investigation. Rather, the police are to conduct a proper investigation and also allow the court to consider the matter and make an informed judgment, she stated. Sadiqbe said the interviews granted by the suspect could affect the determination and the outcome of the case, as well as the amount to a breach of her fundamental right to a fair hearing. Guys, the whole issue is actually turning around. Like, I am asking myself, what kind of country I, am I from? Like, what kind of country am I really from? Like, is this country really worth it? Because the way they are trying to turn the whole issue right now is what me don't really know. Like, I am so tired about this Chile Marquis and... At the point, I don't even know what to upload anymore because Chidima and um, the federal government, I don't really understand what they have together because Chidima has all been interviewed in like three videos right now and she is saying three different things in her video and which right now we don't even know the one to believe. This was the first interview that was granted to Chidima. The first day they caught her, they arrested her in Yaba in her parents' house. Chidima admitted that she deleted um, Usifo. But right now, the whole issue is just turned down that, like turned upside down, I mean, like we don't really know what to believe anymore. We don't know. And Chidima right now in the her last um, interview doesn't even look like somebody that that is in detention or somebody that is really going through a hard time. She is looking all fresh and all cute in that video. Her with her hair well combed and guys, I'm just going to leave you guys to watch this first interview and the other interview and see if you're going to get what I'm saying from this video. Like, I don't understand. Like, do you guys understand what's really going on right now? Leave it for me at the comment section. I'm going to come back to explain more. To all the life. And that's why I managed to start with the life. And then, and then when he dragged... When he came, then we went to get food. We went out to eat and also get drinks. And we just be... We just indoor watching movie, drinking, smoking. He woke up before me, but I was still feeling sleepy and dizzy because of the smoke, drink, and the drug. So he asked what and what we I need, like what we need. So I was like, um, we need to buy food and drug because the, the drug that we brought already finished he sends the money to the account. Why the other one? He gave me the card because he was trying to make payments and it didn't go through. So he gave me the card. I didn't have access to his card, but I, I know the pin code. Before I was leaving, he stood up to lock the door. But when I got in, I was knocking. Uh, as there was no answer, I opened the door, was already open, like it wasn't locked. And the duvet was on the floor, plus pillows. The the bed, the couch was facing the door, and the bed was stained with um, blood already. And um, the floor where it was was 